Look who just happened to drop by. Mark. <laughs> Mistletoe, don't you love Christmas? Uh, uh, Mark, this is my fiance. Um, Nick. I know that. So, this is the second guy who managed to steal you from me. Well, I don't think you had me in the first place. Unfortunately, true. Uh, Mark and Elizabeth grew up together. Uh, uh, sit down, dear. So, tell us what you've been doing. I understand that your business is going very well. Didn't I read in the paper the other day that uh, some of your research people came out with a brilliant new way to seal plastic food containers and that your stock tripled overnight? Well, that's just a bonus, really. Knowing that I'm making the world a more secure place from food poisoning is the real reward. Well, of course, of course. <laughs> and your papa must be so proud. Yes, I like to think I am living up to my family's proud heritage. But uh, hey, this isn't about me. This is about Lizzie and Nickel. I hope you appreciate what a great gal you have here, Nickel. Because if he doesn't, I know where to find someone who does. Oh, he appreciates me, all right. And I appreciate him. So how did you do it? Nickel, how did you manage to sweep this girl off her feet? He was a pretty interesting man. I served on the board of the Guggenheim with him. Great. He writes greeting cards. Do you write your poems with a crayon, Deeds? <laughs> oh, 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 it's amazing. But he's the one who arranged the hitman. You're the one who put a bullet in Dansby's head. Prove it. Family. Fine. I agree, but we'll have to do it before he converts the company. You really think I was dumb enough not to record every conversation we had in this room? I want to talk to the prosecutor right now. It's a story that could have made my career. I have been waiting for a story like this my whole life. And she's mad because I'm on her computer. Hello? Oh, she... She said uh, she couldn't trust me anymore and that it was over. The argument escalated and uh, I took my necklace back and then she starts taunting me. I'm implying that I don't have what it takes to be in the big leagues anyway. Saying I'm a loser. She's had enough. She's had enough. She has. No, 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 no. I've had enough. Me! No, they never showed because the emergency call center has no record of your 911. Paul, you just played it for me. I got this recording from DEA. They have every payphone around that warehouse tapped. It's part of a smuggling crackdown, and it's the only reason I even half believe you right now. If they're tampering with 911 calls, then this goes deeper than I thought. You know how well this sounds. Oh, something airtight. I just need some time. Okay. Keep the hell you're wrong. 